Welcome back to the show. It is Sunday, June 26, 2011. This is Down the Rabbit Hole. I'm your host, Popeye, from FederalJack.com. And today I'm joined by two of my good friends now. JJ Inc. and my good friend Bob Tuscan. Huh? Fire? What? <laughs> <laughs> how, how did I get on the show? I don't know, Bob. Somehow I pressed a button and you appeared. Wow. It must be because you're my chum. Right. Oh, no, I'm your chum. I'm sorry. I'm your chum, Bob. We're going to tell the listeners what we mean about that, aren't we? Yes, we're talking about our our little portly friend that runs a uh, a website. What is it called, Bob? Skeptical Humanities, I believe, is the title of it. Oh, uh, don't plug the guy's site, but I guess you should. It's only appropriate so that you can see the great skeptic work he's doing there at Skeptical Humanities. Yes, he uh, he doesn't he doesn't believe that uh, Libya is. Uh, a segue into World War Three. He doesn't believe that there's anything wrong. You know, he thinks you're crazy if you question that. He thinks you're crazy if you question pretty much anything. And he likes. Uh, he's to do one this. of those guys that thinks we need to bomb Iran's nuclear capabilities now before they bomb us. He's a he's a complete skeptic of anything against the government. JJ, it's pathetic. And every week he features Bob and myself in one of his articles, uh, amongst other people too. Oh, right. On- on tons of other people, but oh, cool. we're, we seem out. to be Bob and I seem to be the um, we're on his hit list, and yeah, and I feel like uh, so. it's great. We're we're famous now, Popeye. How do you feel? I well, you know, I nobody knew who I was until this guy's born. right. Thank you know? thank God for him. You know, he's <laughs> he's totally launched us into total stardom. You know, we went yeah. from having uh, <laughs> one listener to two listeners because of this guy. Great. Yeah, in fact, you know, like the listener, honestly. The guy is a joke. If you read his his pieces, it's always it's just the typical, you know. And I understand that you have to be skeptical, but this guy is a typical um, skeptic to the point where it's almost like comical. You know, you'd almost have to think that this guy was paid just to put this blog out. You know, he is a university professor, so the guy has access to young people's minds, which is a scary thought. Because I mean, usually you would you would want to teach children to. Uh, openly think, think outside the right. box. Critical thinking and all those yeah. great things. But this guy actually nope. teaches a class on conspiracies, quote, conspiracies. And I'll play a clip of this gentleman in a NBC or CBS, one of the news affiliates in Atlanta. They did a piece on the Georgia Guidestones, and sure enough, he popped up. Oh, great. Now, I first met this gentleman at the We Are Change Atlanta event where they had Richard Gage and Luke Rudowski and other great speakers. I, I met Manny up there, so many great people. And he was there covering the event, actually interviewed myself uh, along with my buddy and a few others. Uh, Richard Gage obviously was interviewed. And uh, after the whole speech, he was the only one who rose his hand and said, you know, I still believe the official story. So nothing's going to convince this guy. He's uh, chose what side he's going to be on, and we need to expose him because he's doing a very bad job of covering things. All you'll see is ad hominem fallacies from him. You'll never actually see him address the information unto itself, but you'll see him name call on all these typical tactics used. Probably by... refers to NIST a lot. Oh, he's, he's a big fan <laughs> of NIST. I think Great. he's on the NIST... Um, Email list. The NIST email list. That rhymes. This guy's a tool. He is. And uh, wait until you hear. Did you hear that piece that he did with the uh, Georgia Guidestones? Oh, yeah, dude. He totally tries to act like, you know, the guy, you know, oh, it doesn't really, you know, conspiracy theory theorists think that, you know, they, they want to, you know, kill off, you know, a huge percent of the world's population. No, it says it. It's etched actually in stone. And I'm not being a smart ass when I say that. It's actually etched in stone that they want to get rid of at least 80% of the world's Does he population. Explain who paid for them and why? Why they were put well, there? Well, no, then? they always they always go, oh, some some mysterious person named R.C. Christian, and then right. he la- he later put out a book, blah 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 blah, explaining what the guy you know, R.C. Christian is an anagram for the Rosicrucians. Yes. And the per- the person who paid for it, okay, from the research that I've done, the person who paid for it for the guidestones to be erected was none other than Ted Turner. 
<laughs> ah, <is that laughs> Mr. Globalist that, douche himself. Is that the same guy yeah. that told Luke not 80 but 90? Yeah, same guy that I saw the video footage that Luke Radowski has. I've seen it myself with my own two eyes. Okay, he confronts him. He says to Ted Turner, you, you know, you're a you're a stooge, you're a scumbag. We know you want to kill, you know, 80% of the world's population. And Turner stops. He's going down a set of stairs and he stops, turns around, looks at look <clears throat> looks at Luke and the camera. Dead like dead serious and says it's not 80%, it's 90% and turned around and walked away. Yeah. I mean, he, right this is the board. same man that <laughs> called sense. the BP oil spill guys God's work. Right. So can you actually believe, though, back to the skeptical inquirer guy, that he teaches a class at a university on conspiracies? Well, why, why if conspiracies don't exist, why teach a class about them? Well, let's hear it. I want to hear him explain why they're there, though. What, the conspiracies Just, or yeah, the George he, Guidestones? Yeah, the George Guidestones, does he? Explain why they're there, or is it just uh, just a uh, well between somebody. his 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 half-assed explanation and the news I- I itself? The news program was you know definitely oh, okay. it was definitely jaded because they that's they're the ones that say oh you know R.C. Christian and they, he wrote a book about it explaining what the guidestones were for later on. Yeah, you but know, we it, all do know that there is no person named R.C. <laughs> Christian. I know it stands for the Rosicrucians. I know. I'll let you guys do your do your thing here. Sorry, I didn't. No, see the episode. that's a good question. That, that's a that that you bring up a good point. You know, if you if you didn't bring it up, JJ, other people would have probably asked the same thing in the chat room. So it's important to to bring all. You know, you ha- everybody has to look. And this guy is nothing more. I mean, if if he's not paid to do this, if he actually does this on his own. He, then he's really that much of an idiot, and he's that uneducated and ignorant. I mean, that's why, it, to me, this guy has to be paid to be doing this. He has to be. There has to be some sort of incentive or he has to be benefiting from doing this blog somehow. Because he can't, if, he's a, if he's a teacher, a professor of young minds, and he's this ignorant. He's dangerous, then. Yeah, definitely. To those young minds, that's for sure. Highly dangerous. Bob, you got that clip ready? No, I'm looking for it. It'll take okay. me a second. That's fine. Just All let me know when you get we'll it talk. ready. You got, you'll, you, dude. This guy is a complete tool. Even just listening to him speak out loud is like you can see. I'm telling you, nobody can be this ignorant and be a professor at the same time. I don't. You, you uh, have there's... to. You, you'd have to be willfully ignorant. You know what I'm saying? You'd have to understand what's going on, but be willfully. You'd have to going. know what the real deal was. In other words, well, willfully to ignorant, be that you know? ignorant, you have to actually know what the truth is, and you just know what you're doing. Exactly. You you're can't be. It, this guy is too much of a shill. You know, and it's it, it's not that he's super important, and I don't think that he is high no, up in the food thousand, chain. There's a thousand of him out there. Running exactly. Around. He's a puppet. Saying, saying uh, well, uh, ten to- the ten tower or the ten floors above, you know, tower one caused the whole building to collapse in twelve seconds. It's in the report. I mean, that's their whole argument. So, well, here's here's my problem. The government's official theory is a conspiracy theory. So, yeah, because it can't be. Proven. If you say, don't. You shouldn't listen, like Bush. You could, you know, we shouldn't listen to conspiracy theories uh, concerning the attacks. Conspiracy theories. Here we go. Look, right here. the attacks of September the 11th. Malicious lies that attempt to outrageous shift the blame conspiracy from theories. The um, your theory is an outrageous the conspiracy guilty. theory. Nineteen guys with box cutters oh, out with NORAD. Yo, yeah. Gemini, okay. We're going to break. We'll be right back. System, I have no confidence in the system at all. Horse crap. That's what the 9-11 commission report is. Horse crap. We'll be right back. We're going to break. Or does it take to react to the impact? Many taking a nap. In fact, they would fake an attack to make way for the Patriot Act. 